Hey there, it's Ranjit from Atomic Fusion, and I'm really excited to talk about uh, Atomic Fusion version 4 today, and uh, I'll be taking you through the new extension. Um, so um, I've got my test app open up, and I'm going to open Atomic Fusion uh, version 4, and there we go. So right there, you can see that everything is on a single page now, and we've got all the functionality built into a single view. So right on top, you've got upload an asset. Then there's a section for your recent forks. So this is where um, what you just forked is going to show up. Um, and as you scroll down, you'll see there's sections for my forks, my favorites, and my creations. So these are new sections. Let me take you through them. Uh, my forks are obviously your whatever you forked. Uh, and um, if you've noticed, like everything on the extension will by default um, show your forks. So that's the default uh, view that you're going to see here. Then you've got my favorites. So we've added a functionality where you can like or bookmark um, certain assets that you you know you want to keep at the back of your mind, but you don't want to lose. So those are going to show up in your favorites. I don't have any liked yet, but I'm going to take you through that in another video. And then you've got my creations. So this is the stuff that I've actually uploaded uh, onto Atomic Fusion from my bubble apps. Coming back to forks. Um, I'm also going to show you this categorization that we've built in uh, block components, pages, and elements. So block components are basically groups of, of elements that you have, and you can copy and paste them in, and you can build out your entire um, page with those things. That's probably something you've seen in the older versions of uh, Atomic Fusion as well. Pages are basically elements that are of type page or reusable elements. So these typically come with workflows. And then you have elements, which are like the bare um, components that you might find on uh, on Bubble. So that's more or less how we've categorized things here. So the idea of, with the categories is to make sure that um, you're able to sift through assets on Atomic Fusion based on their complexity. So right from the most basic elements, like buttons and text right up to entire pages um, should be usable. That's why we've designed things this way. So let me take you through some of the functionalities. So getting started with uploading assets, um, it's a simple process. Now you just click on upload an asset uh, and then you get this pop-up. So there's two options that you can use here. One is to you know, copy from your bubble app editor and paste in. So that will come in without workflows. And then the other is to copy with workflows and paste in with workflows. So let me show you how those both work. I want to build out a button here. Um, demo button. Right. And uh, I haven't assigned any workflows on this. And anyway, I'm going to just copy it. And then I'm going to paste it here. So Atomic Fusion went in and uh, figured out what it was. It realized it's a button, um, it's a type button, and now it's um, it's asking you to upload an image. Um, let's do that one. Let's save it, and then let's come back here and and there we go. Okay. So now I have the option to set this um, as either public or private. I'm going to keep it private and I'm going to keep it published. Um, that way I can actually use it. So I'm going to save this like that. And straight away, um, there's my button. It's uh, I can copy it from here. I can share it. I can edit it. Um, and it also says that it's private. Now, similarly, if I was to go in here and add a workflow on this. That's going to be my workflow. So I'm just setting a state on the button itself. And that's done. So now if I go in here and copy with workflows, I can actually come here and paste with workflows. So this will actually pull in the element as well as the workflows that are associated with it. So I'm going to say button A with workflows. Keep this private. I'm going to upload the same image and save that. So there we go. We've got button A with workflow and just button A. So now 
when I want to actually copy and paste this in, I'm going to actually show this to you on a new page just to show you how it works. Test to right. So now I want to copy just the button. So I'm going to copy that. It says you can now paste it into the bubble editor. So I can paste it here. There's my button. It's got uh, it's got no workflows that's blank so it's just the button there and then I can go in and copy the button with the workflows so it's copied with workflows copied with workflows you can now click paste with workflows that's what it says there so I can go in and say paste with workflows so now on this guy if I look at the workflows I'm gonna see exactly what I'd set up earlier so that's essentially how um, you copy and paste things between your bubble app editor and atomic fusion um, and also most of my things that I've set up here are private so in case you've copied something into uh, uploaded something into atomic fusion and you're not ready to kind of make it public yet you can always just keep it private uh, you can work on it or you could even go in and edit it on the edit quick edit section here so the option to keep this um, as a draft is also yours uh, so if you do that, this will actually show up you know, as a draft. Apart from that, you can share this with someone if it's public. Um, and of course, you can um, see more details of the asset. Click on that. It takes you to a page that's dedicated to that asset. And it shows you all that there is to know about that asset. And it'll also give you options to edit and go back to the Explorer page. But all that's for another video. I'm going to go back here. All of these uh, assets have appeared here because I forked them from the Explorer page. So whatever you fork last is going to appear first here. The assumption is that when you're in uh, Atomic Fusion and you're exploring um, assets created by the community, uh, you essentially have something in mind, you know, an app or an idea that you want to build out and then you're looking for things uh, with that in context. Uh, which is why this uh, recent fork section is very uh, handy. And of course, you can just explore everything that you've interacted with um, down here. I'd love to hear your comments and what you think and, and, and how you think we can keep improving it. And it's really exciting to know what you guys do with Atomic Fusion version 4. Looking forward to it. See ya.